Welcome back, and this is part two in the Space Shooter tutorial series. So I'm going to take the player ship, and I'm going to go to Events, so I can start doing some coding. And I'm going to start off by doing Add Event, and I'm going to say When Updating. And remember that the difference between these three is that when creating is when the game starts. When drawing is when you want to display or draw text on the screen typically uh, and when updating basically means always so I'm gonna rename my event and this is gonna be um, ship move and this is going to determine if when our ship moves uh, left and right okay so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click on flow and I'm gonna basically choose um, I'm gonna choose this conditional statement it's called an if then and I'm going to place it in here and basically it means if and then whatever is inside here if this then this and whatever is inside the uh, little bracket here is going to happen so uh, I'm going to say if and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go to user input and I'm going to choose control is down and that's under keyboard so that means that if a keyboard control is being pressed down then you're going to execute whatever's in here so I'm going to choose the control and I'm going to start off with the right so this is the right arrow so if the right arrow is down what's going to happen um, so I'm going to come over here to actors motion and I'm going to choose set x speed to zero for actor so X speed is going to be X is uh, horizontal, and I'm going to go ahead and choose. Um, I'm going to choose a base value of 20. So it says set X speed to 20 for self. I'm then going to come back over here to the flow category, and I'm going to say I'm going to grab an otherwise block, and say otherwise. Um, oops, actually, sorry. Um, I want an otherwise if otherwise if and you might wonder what's the difference between the two notice that otherwise has nothing after it and otherwise if has this little um, socket here that you can then add something to so otherwise if and I'm gonna choose control is down again and this time the control is gonna be left control so now what I'm going to do is I need another one of these blue blocks, the set X speed. So I could go find it under actors and motion, but instead a little pro tip is you can hold down the option key and you can do option left click and drag off a copy. And I'll just place it right in here and I'm going to set the X speed to negative uh, 20. Okay, so pressing down right will make me move at a speed of 20 on the X and pressing down left will give me a speed of negative 20. I'm now going to go back to flow and I'm going to then choose the otherwise block. So I've got all three, if, otherwise, if, and otherwise. And now I'm basically going to say if right is down, do something. If left is down, do something. If neither are being pressed down, then do this. And that's what otherwise uh, really means. So I'm going to say otherwise and I'm going to option left click. I'm going to say otherwise. Uh, set the speed to zero, and that should stop the um, that should stop the the ship, uh, no problem. Okay, um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and test this out. Okay, so here we are. You can see the background moving. I think that needs to be a little faster. And I'm doing left and right arrow keys, and you can see it's controlling the character just fine. Um, now if I go all the way, oh, okay. So the Player ship. player ship is going off the screen, so I need to take care of that now. So I'm going to go to Player Ship tab, and this one's going to be done with a behavior. So I'm going to click to create a behavior, and let's see. Um, I'm going to go here to the category called Motion, and I'm just going to choose Cannot Exit Screen. Hit Choose, and there's nothing to uh, set up. Now if you want to see behind the scenes, behind the curtain, um, you can um, you can basically uh, click on this button right here which says edit behavior and that will then show you the the, the, the guts the DNA 
of that behavior. So here you can see it's pretty pretty standard, but then you can see it's it's fairly complex um, in making it happen. So uh, we went with the behavior for time's sake. Okay, um, let's see. In the next video tutorial, part three, I'm going to show you how to make the player shoot and how to handle the lasers once they are shot. So I'll see you in part three.